वन इज अ डिस्टेंट मेटास्टेसिस नो हाउ आई टेक इट दिस आई एम डूइंग अ क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस I am doing my clinical examination of this patient to stage this cancer, right? For that, I have used the vernier caliper. I am examining the lymph node with the hand to find out whether the uh, axillary lymph node or supraclavicular lymph nodes are enlarged or not. Now, how will I know that there is a distant metastasis or not? I know the three common sites, the four common sites of metastasis: bone, lung, liver, and a brain. So I. take the history of the patient if the patient is telling me that there is some bone pain he has or a pathological fracture he has or in my examination i told you in the beginning when i do the clinical examination i have to check for spine tenderness i found a spine tenderness i found a spine tenderness i will moment i am getting this on a patient's bone profile i am a i will consider it as m1 similarly if the patient is complaining of persistent cough or respiratory distress or hemoptysis happening or hemoptysis happening i will consider this also m1 because it could be a lung metastasis now if the patient has jaundice patient has jaundice or patient liver is enlarged or having a nodule or having a nodule i will again consider it as a m1 disease so clinically what i mean to say which you have to understand in the clinical profile of a patient if the patient is having symptoms of these four common sites in a patient who has a lump see there can be a coincidence also a patient has a lump who has a cancer and cancer lump of a breast and having a cough happening because having a tuberculosis this can be coincidence but i will not take this initially as a coincidence i'll take it as as if it is a metastasis happened so similarly if the patient is having a pathological fracture happen it can be because of osteoporosis also but i will not take it i will take it as m1 disease so i am initially taking the, it as m1 now how my further evaluation will happen you'll get to see so this what i have done so if what what we you can summarize it here whenever there is a symptomatic patient is symptomatic of the four common site of metastasis i will stage this patient as a m1 patient means a distant metastasis patient just remember this